Now it's time for war. We have a bunch of Spartan warriors here, some archers and also horse riders here against a small army of my upgraded golems here. Look at them all. They're looking pretty good. I genuinely have no idea who's going to win this fight. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. A new update recently came out and it now includes this lava golem right here. This thing looks very powerful. I haven't actually used it yet. I have no idea what it is capable of and I don't know if it's powerful or anything like that. So my initial reactions will be in this video right here. He goes for $130. So he is pretty expensive. He costs more than the hellhound. And to start off with, we're going to make him go up against an ant. I know that's kind of weird. Right, let's fight. Let's see what he does. What kind of powers? Whoa, what the? He's rolling. Oh, whoa. This guy is insane. So he punches, he rolls. That is actually really neat. I love this guy's animation so far. So if you also get nice and close, you can see he is glowing. Look at that. It looks really, really cool. But this isn't the only thing that came out in this update. We also now have animal decor so we can add some feathers feathers probably won't go too well with this guy i mean feathers probably just burn up right i'm guessing this guy's really hot but yeah check it out we could add feathers if we wish on other animals it would look really nice and i'm really glad that the developers are adding more stuff like this every single update that comes out i just really love it in this game so yes they are definitely going in the right direction with these new updates i'm hoping more deco comes out because just feathers at the moment isn't amazing but it is nice that we can like spice things up a little bit and uh yeah you know what this guy actually looks kind of interesting like that anyway we also have where is it animal organic weapons that has also been updated and a lot of you guys complained that the left hand well it was just the left hand that's all we had so every time i added like these arms to the creatures it was just facing the wrong way and that's not my fault it just wasn't in the game at the time but now it is and you may have also noticed that we can now get swords hammers and a spear hand how cool is that so we can literally add something like this to all of our creations i mean granted this looks a little odd but it's super cool that they've been added but here is another interesting thing about this update and this i don't think was ever listed in the update log on the notes anyway so if you go to animal weapons there is a ballista here now i had no idea that this was in the update until i actually went and had a look there might even be other stuff that wasn't mentioned let me check not that i can see i think this really really is it now yeah okay there we go so let's see how powerful we are now let's see can we get a good shot on it on the ant oh Oh, it's not dead though. Oh, I love those front flips he does, the roly polies. And now the ant is dead. Right, so I will upgrade this guy a little bit later. But in the meantime, let's just remove all the decorations and the upgrades because we want to see him in action and see what he's like just on its own with no upgrades or anything like that. Next up, we have an elephant. Let's see how easy he finds it to kill it. But before I begin, check this out. We can also see their health now. That was something we couldn't do before. I will likely have it turned off for most of my videos, but at some points I might turn it on. And we also have this, so we can actually see their properties now. So if anyone has any different values or anything like that, we can actually see what's been added and changed. Right, let's start the fight, and then we can also do this! We can now pause. That was never a thing before. I love this feature. It's really cool. Developers, I love you guys. I don't know how many of you are working on this game. Maybe it's one, maybe it's 10. I don't know, but you're doing a great job. Anyway, let's start the fight. So that seems to always be his like starting move. What? Wait, hang on a minute. What the? Oh, yes. I didn't know he could do that. I don't know what he just did. Where, where did that fire come from? Did he just emit it from his whole body? I'm not too sure. Oh, <laughs> I feel so bad for this elephant. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, is it coming from his hands, maybe? And the elephant is now dead. All right, we, we need something more powerful. We need to go a little bit more crazy because clearly this lava golem is insane. Time for the T-Rex test. Let's see what happens. Do the roly poly, do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that seems to be his first attack. Ooh, you know, I, I really don't know who's going to win this. I mean, the guy is literally made out of rocks, as you can see. So I'm guessing when the T-Rex bites down on him, it won't have a huge effect on him. In fact, let me have a quick check here. So if I press it, H? Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, he's going to lose. No. Oh, and then he like blows up when he dies. That's pretty interesting. But he uh, he took the T-Rex down to about half health there. So not too bad. Now let's try the Purosaurus. Okay, let's see what happens here. Roly poly on him. That's it. 
Ooh, hit by the tail, right? Do the fire thing, man. Come on, that seems to do a lot of damage. Ah, no. Ooh. Oh, he's got his arm. Bash him in the head, that's it. <laughs> this is one insane battle right here. Oh, there goes the fire. That's what we need. Yes. All right, who's winning? Uh, ooh, I think the Purosaurus is actually winning this battle. What it is, I think he, when he does... Yeah, that move right there with the tail. When he bashes him with the tail, he can't get close enough to actually damage him. So for that reason, Lava Golem, I think you are about to die. Oh, no. <laughs> the classic croc attack. Even though the Purosaurus isn't actually classed as a crocodile. Or is it? I can't fully remember now. Uh, oh, lost to the Purosaurus. Purosaurus, I got to say... Very powerful creature. So, you know what? I'm not actually fully surprised. What about an Infernal versus an Infernal? So we have the Hellhound versus the Lava Golem. Let's start the battle. Let's see. Lava Golem is a little bit more expensive. Uh, they both emit fire, as you can see, because obviously they are the Infernal characters. They often can do that, and they can probably uh, survive fire as well. Uh, so their attacks might not be as lethal. Hang on, let me check. It is nice that we can do this now and actually see who's winning instead of just waiting for someone to die. But yeah, as you can see, uh, the Hellhound is unfortunately going to die. And there we go. He is now dead. Right, bit of a change of location. Let's, uh, can we scale this up? Yeah, let's have a quick look. I like how it says animal scaling, not recommended now. That that was never a thing before. What about five? Oh. <laughs> I just got to try this real quick. Right, yeah, he, he won't function correctly because he's just way <laughs> too big now. Whoa, look at him. You can't, Roly Poly. <laughs> he just launched himself off the map. Where you going, bro? <laughs> okay, so when he tries to do like a Roly Poly, he just launches himself. Right, anyway, the reason um, I'm here now is because I do want to go ahead and upgrade this character. So, should, I don't know if I want to scale him up or not. I'll tell you what, since this is brand new unit, I say we don't change anything too crazy. We don't scale him up. Um, we just add armor and stuff like that. Oh, skeleton, you are getting messed up right now. Oh, and it's dead. Right, yeah, let's go... For normal sized lava golem. There we go. And now let's go for the upgrade. So uh, let's see. We've got armor. Do we add a little bit of armor to him? I mean, he's already pretty well armored. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll add a little bit. How about that? Add some shoulder pads. And then with these upgrades, he should be able to take down the T-Rex. And of course, a bunch of other creatures. Man, symmetry in this game can be pretty difficult. But that looks pretty good. Right, chest peak. Wait, what the? Hang on a minute. Why is it floating? Oh, no. That's messed up. Right, that is something that needs fixing. This update has only literally just come out. So I'm guessing that's going to be fixed at some point. So I guess we won't be able to add anything around that area for the time being. Now, since these feathers are new, I am going to add some to this guy. I won't add too many. Let's just go for some on his head like this. There we go. Looks pretty cool, right? We'll stick to orange feathers. We'll try and like stick to the uh, the color he's got going on already. Yeah, looking good. Right. I also want to add the new ballista as well. So I think what's going to be best for us to do here is put it on a pole on his back. The only issue I can think of is when he does a little roly-poly move at the beginning, it might, I don't know, get in the way a little bit, but we'll find out, I guess. It's all about testing, especially when it comes to new stuff. We want to figure out what's good and what's bad. So this is either going to be a great addition or it's going to suck. So it'll be just above his little feathers. Look at his face, by the way. Look at that. <laughs> okay, and then we add this. Give it a bit of a curve. And blister, where you at? There you are. Actually, it's huge, isn't it? This blister's massive. Okay, that's probably a little bit too high up, but we're gonna stick with it anyway. Now, I feel like this guy would probably have a hammer. I feel like he's that type of guy to own a heavy hammer because he is strong. He should be able to uh, manage this. Let's go for, let's see. Don't wanna go for that? Uh, looks, I don't know. Maybe skeleton hand would make the most sense. I'll put one on this side and then another one on this side. That should do for upgrades. Right, T-Rex, you were able to take down the Lava Golem before, but with these upgrades, will you still be able to kill him? Let's find out and start the battle. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, I think we landed a shot yet. Oh, look, he can still do it. He can still roll around. That's good. And oh, he's being flung around. Yes. Come on, come on. That ballista's doing a lot of damage, I can tell. Yep, look, right in his nose. Whoa, what the? No! 
The T-Rex still defeated him. Right, looks like we need to do some more upgrades. Right now, let's see what happens. Yes, good shot there. I've got the spears on the side now as well. Hopefully, they're going to do some damage to the T-Rex. I'm, I'm hoping we win this one. I mean, we've got two hammers, two spears, ballista, armor. We've got to win, surely. Oh, been thrown about. There goes the fire again. Have we done it? Yes, we're going to win this one easily. Look how much health we have left over as well. There we go. Right, we need to try Goru here. Can he take down my upgraded lava golem that is the question so i feel like without the upgrades i've added here oh that was right in his forehead oh and again <laughs> poor goru <laughs> oh big punch so i feel like without my upgrades there's a good chance goru would actually win but because i've done this and changed him up it's likely that uh, the golem here will win this fight but i guess we're about to find out i could be wrong there goes the fire it's like he attaches his hands to him there we go he's down we got him. So I'm going to quickly save this one. And then I'm going to spawn in one without the attachments and see what happens against Goru. And let's fight. Okay, so you can see Goru is quite a bit bigger than the golem here. Oh, he's so brutal with his punches. <laughs> Why is he punching him like that? Okay, come on. Both of them love to punch his stuff. But Goru likes tackling and just absolutely pounding them, just beating them up. Oh, look, man. Just stop, stop rolling like that. It, it doesn't seem to help you very much. Use the fire. Come on. Fire does a lot of damage to the enemies. Come on, dude. Who's winning? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew that was coming. Which is why we need to send in the Lava Golem Army. Yes. <laughs> Let's watch them all do roly polies at the beginning. Here we go. Ready? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, Goru, you are so screwed now, buddy. Wait, did he take one out already? How did he How did he do that? I'm guessing that might have been a bit of team damage there as well. Tank Goru, you're up. Start the battle. Yeah, he's going to win this one just purely because of the guns, right? He has to. Yeah, he is messing them up. Oh, Golems didn't stand a chance with this one. Why is he upside down? Come on. Two, two left. Keep fighting. Oh been picked up the tentacle has him and they are both down oh, he's too much of a beast he can't be stopped now let's try the demon that i created i actually feel like the golems are going to win this one because he doesn't really have any guns on him guns are really powerful he doesn't have any tentacles like that he does have a few spikes on his uh, his hands here as you can see but other than that i think we actually stand a pretty good chance of taking him down not to mention he struggles to walk as well as you're about to see so yeah these guys probably are going to win this one, I would assume. Although, if he does slam that bone thing he has in his hand, it could be pretty bad like that. Oh, no, we see, we see more, right? We're good. Okay, so that's one down by the looks of it. One isn't too bad, I guess. Oh, there goes another one. Wait, we might lose. I'm not too sure. We're losing so many of them. Wait, what? How are they all dying? How are they dying like that? Is it because they're tra being trampled on? I don't know. Oh, no. Okay, we lost. But if you look at his health, we were close to taking him down. Now it's time for war. We have a bunch of Spartan warriors here, some archers, and also horse riders here against a small army of my upgraded golems here. Look at them all. They're looking pretty good. I genuinely have no idea who's going to win this fight. It's going to be an interesting win. Let let's, uh, let's start. Here we go. Yeah, Blister's doing a lot of damage straight away there. Horse Riders dead instantly. Oh, we got one down. To be fair, when they roll like that, and if the creature, or in this case humans, oh, we've lost, are small, it crushes them. So for that reason, it is powerful. But if you're going up against a larger unit, like a T-Rex, for example, it doesn't seem to do as much damage. I've now increased the size of our army, which means we stand a better chance of winning. In fact, I'm feeling a lot more confident, especially as we have the two Hellhounds and the Demon. Let's start the fight and let's see what happens this time. Oh, no horses. Retreat. Retreat, horses. No. Oh, this is insane. This is epic. Okay, we've got one down over there. Another one. Right. Oh, yeah, it's looking good for us. It is looking good. Demon is still okay. Oh, there's bodies flying everywhere. I just realized because, because they explode as well when they die, I'm guessing that will also kill everyone around them. 
That's probably why earlier so many of them were dying because when one of them exploded, it did a lot of damage to their teammates. Makes a lot of sense. This war is getting pretty wild now. I have spawned in a bunch of different creatures, including an elephant over here. We've got wyverns back there, gorillas, tigers. So it's definitely getting a little strange, but it does mean they stand a lot better chance of surviving. So let's see who wins now. Wyverns are going in. They're going to be way too heavy to be picked up. Oh, that looked insane. All right, we're getting a little bit of lag now because we just have so many creatures spawned in. And not to mention, we have upgraded quite a lot of them. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a laggy mess. But still really cool to watch. Archers, you guys are all very screwed right now. You guys might want to run. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was insane. We've won again, though. Even though they had all those extra creatures. Oh, here comes the demon. Run! Oh, look how powerful that is. Oh, see, when he when he does that and he puts that bone thing into the floor, everyone around him is just dead. I heard that giving animals feathers gives them extra confidence in battle. So therefore, they will win. Okay, that looks really weird. Oh, hang on a minute. I just realized the feathers aren't even really attached to his face. Look, that's really strange. But I think he's winning against the tiger. The tiger has its leg here. But well, surely a polar bear would win against the tiger, right? Yeah. Wait. Um, did it win? Nope. Still going. See, if it wasn't for those feathers, I feel like this polar bear right here probably would be dead already by now is all I'm saying. Come on. Yes. Of course we won. Thank you, feathers. Now, I am still doing suggestions for this game, so make sure you leave them in the comment section down below to be featured in the next episode. But on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in the video in the top right. Goodbye!